Hello everyone. I am uh, Vinod Vyas, Deputy General Manager, National Small Industries Corporation, NSIC. Today we'll discuss about how NSIC is helping uh, for like you know MSME sector. As you all know that like you know MSME sector is a backbone of Indian economy. There are 634 lakhs MSME are exist in India. Out of this 30, 100, uh, 634, 630 MSMEs are micro. So 97% of our like, you know, MSME sector uh, occupied micro, uh, from micro sector and 3.31 lakhs from small and 0.05% from medium enterprise. In rural area, we have 51% MSME and in urban area, we have 49% of MSME. So like you know, the presence, the contribution in GDP, the contribution in export, like you know, for these, uh, like you know, uh, contribution of like you know, in export sector as well as in uh, GDP uh, of Indian uh, Indian GDP, uh, will like you know definitely make MSME sector a backbone for Indian economy. Today I'll talk about uh, like you know how MSME is categorized. Uh, recently, uh, definition has been changed, and the new definition is if micro enterprise their investment in plant and machinery should not be more than 1 crore and uh, their turn turnover should not be 5 crore. For small enterprise, their investment in plant and machinery should not exceed 10 crores and turnover should not exceed 50 crores. And medium enterprise, investment in plant and machinery should not exceed 50 crores and turnover should not exceed 250 crores as per the new definition. MSME registration or Udyam registration like you know, if you want to come into MSME fraternity, you need to have this uh, registration. MSME registration can simply you can you need to have your uh, Udyoga, you need to have your Aadhaar number, and on the basis of that, it is like you know very easy to get MSME registration by just like you know clicking on www.udyamregistration.org site. I'll talk about two flagship schemes of. Uh, Ministry of MSME. One is Prime Minister Employment Generation Program. The key objective of this program is to generate sustainable employment in, uh, like you know, India, Indian economy in rural area as well as in urban area. And the key benefits are, uh, like you know, it is a credit link capital, uh, credit link subsidy, which is ranging from 15 to 35 percent is given in this scheme. And for manufacturing sector, maximum you can avail 50 lakhs, and in service sector you can avail 20 lakhs. Beneficiary which are belong from special categories like ex-servicemen, women entrepreneur from minority, SC and ST entrepreneur. The subsidy is 35% in rural areas and 25% in urban areas. Another scheme is credit guarantee scheme for micro and small enterprise, CGT MSME scheme. This is basically to encourage first generation entrepreneur for self-employment by giving them guarantee free credit. Key benefits are like you know, it is guarantee free credit up to 5 crores and third party guarantee free also and collateral free also. Now I'll talk about NSIC from which I belong to. NSIC is a government of India enterprise under Ministry of MSME. We are working from 1995, 1955. From last 68 years, year, we are working in the, uh, in the space of MSME development. NSIC is continuously working to promote aid and foster the growth of micro and small medium enterprise in the country. Our mission is to promote and support micro, small and medium enterprise sector by providing them integrated support services, encompassing of marketing, finance and other technological services. Our vision is to become a premier organization fostering the growth of micro, small and medium enterprise sector. NSIC has designed a set of schemes which, which can help MSME sector in a big way. And we have categorized these schemes into marketing schemes, finance schemes, and technological support schemes. So first I'll talk about marketing schemes. As we all know that marketing is an integral part of any business. So NSIC is basically supporting like you know, MSME entrepreneurs in their marketing efforts. Some of the marketing schemes are First one is single point registration scheme 
for government purchase. As we all know that government is the biggest buyer in our country. So if you want to participate in government buying process, then it is very easy and simple for you to just go for NSIC registration because NSIC registration will ensure that public procurement policy for micro and small enterprises are, like you know, as defined by government of India, are given to MSME sector, MSE sector. Some of the key benefits are issue of tender sets free of cost, exemption from waiver of earnest money deposit. In tender participation, if MSME is quoting price L1 plus 15, in that case, a portion of 25% is allowed to supply if, like you know, MSE is quoting their price between the range of L1 to L1 plus 15% and they are ready to reduce their price to L1. So a portion of 25% they can supply to the buyer department. As you all know that every central ministry, or department or public sector companies has set an annual goal for procurement of 25% from MSE sector. From 1st April 2015, as per the Public Procurement Policy 2012. Also, there are 358 items are reserved for exclusive for SSI sector. So these items, like you know, you can only buy from micros and small enterprise. Next scheme is consortia and tender marketing scheme. As I have already mentioned that there are 97% of units are micro-enterprise in nature. So for them, like you know, participating in government tender or large tenders is very difficult. So to support them, this scheme is designed. Under this scheme, we form group of consortia of micro and small units and then participate on their behalf for large tenders. Once we secure tenders, then we distribute, like you know, these tender in, in the tune of their production capacity. Next scheme is exhibition and technology fair. Like NSIC is participating in various national and international tender annually. Very selected like you know international and uh, national and international exhibitions we are participating so we are supporting msme units to participate in these exhibition and fairs nationally and internationally by providing them like you know discount or waiver in rentals next scheme is we have talked about b2b portal which NSIC has launched like, you know, by the name of MSME Mart. Under this portal, like, you know, there are a host of benefits which are like, you know, provided. Some of the benefits are interactive database of buyers and sellers. Then you can create your own web page. There, there is the information of national and international tender on this website and uh, it can be like you know, provided on your email also. Centralized mail system, popular product section where like you know you can go for any particular product if you want to choose. Unlimited global trade leads. There are 1465 trade leads are available right now on this portal. Trust seal of NSIC, MSME web store, multiple language support, discussion board, call center support, all these supports are given under this scheme. ICT enabled digital services for MSME. NSIC is offering ICT enabled digital services to MSME sector. Some of the services are cloud software suit like ERP, finance and accounting software, supply chain, inventory and CRM, some of the sales and marketing solutions and other IT, ICT services. 
some of the benefits like the which MSMEs are getting out of these services are affordable prices, easily accessible and secure, automated process, less processing time, efficient use of limited resources, reduced complexity, special discount on like you know getting the membership, scale up your business. Some of the software services which like you know NSIC is providing to MSME sector are uh, U-books, adequate software services, which are free for company whose annual turnover is less than 1.5 crore. Then cloud-based software suits, Zoho Books, Zoho Commerce, Zoho CRM, Zoho Inventory, and Zoho Workplace. Next is Sales and Marketing Solutions by Dunn and Bradstreet, Global Sales Acceleration Solutions by DNB Hoover's Risk Assessment Intelligence Platform by DNB Credit. Then, like you now we have tied with Airtel for providing software and communication uh, services, Airtel Corporate Postpaid Services, Cloud Communication Suits, Airtel Enterprise Internet, Internet Lead Line, One Stop Digital Solution for Airtel Office Internet. These are some of the ICT-enabled services which, like you know, NSIC is providing to MSME. Recently, NSIC has, like you know, launched a promotional program for corporates if they want to, like you know, give their ad on the MSME Mart portal, then they can connect with more than two lakh like MSME entrepreneurs on this portal. Who can, who can take participate? All the corporates, institution, event organizer, large corporate, PSUs, and financial institute, they can give their ad on this portal and take benefit of, like, you know, having more than two lakhs like MSMEs on this portal. Then NSIC, as I told you that we have marketing support services, then we have credit support services. First one is raw material assistance scheme. Under this scheme, NSIC is financing for raw material. If you want to purchase any kind of raw material, we have uh, like, you know, done tie-up with bulk manufacturers. And for procuring raw material, also you can get finance. This is a short-term finance in nature. and other credit services bank type schemes. You all know that from getting loan from bank is very difficult nowadays. So NSIC is partnering with all the national and international banks and providing like you know financial solutions to MSME sector, not only like you know helping them to prepare their documents, but like you know we, we are following up till the sanction of loan under this scheme. Then there is a new scheme which recently launched is machine and equipment selling scheme through aggregation of services. Under this scheme, NSIC has registered so many manu machine manufacturers under the umbrella of NSIC and out of these impanel machine uh, manufacturers, you can buy your machine from those manufacturers at a very discounting price and assurance of NSIC. How to like to purchase your machine? Just need to give 10% of the machine value or 5,000, whichever is higher. And after that, you can make your payment, part payment, and then full payment after like you know uh, installation of your machine at your place. National SCST Hub. In 2016, our Honorable Prime Minister has started this scheme. Basically, the objective of this scheme is to, like, you know, capacity enhancement in SCST entrepreneurs and promoting entrepreneurship culture among SCST population.
the scheme was launched by our honorable prime minister in 2016 some of the key benefits of the schemes are how we are like now going to the people how we are reaching to the scst entrepreneurs through exhibition and trade fairs through workshop seminar and campaigns capacity and skill development program through various agencies right now there are 13 offices of national scst hub in ludhiana agra lucknow mumbai pune patna ranchi chennai bangalore bhubneswar guwahati kolkata surat hyderabad and shillong what like now we are doing we are doing facilitation services in tender participation bank loan facilitation e tendering facilitation workshop special vendor development programs awareness campaigns vendor registration with cpscs and hand holding support some of the benefits of this scst hub program are special credit link capital subsidy scheme up to 25% subsidy is given on procurement of plant and machinery through institutional finance maximum subsidy is 25 lakhs without any restriction on sector or machines and technology other benefit is special marketing assistance scheme under this scheme MSME entrepreneur can participate in any national and international uh, exhibition and trade fair. In a year, they can participate four domestic exhibition and two international exhibitions at 100% free stall charges and other charges. Then assistance for registration under single point registration scheme. As I have already mentioned about this scheme in my previous slide, for like no registration in single point. registration scheme we are charging only 100 rupees from scst entrepreneur rest entire fees is subsidized membership charges of various export promotion councils financial assistance to integrate msc into gvc reimbursement of 80% or 20000 whichever is less in a financial year for msme for getting membership of any export promotion council then for testing charges we are reimbursing 80% or up to 1 lakh rupee whichever is less for getting tested your product from any nabl accredited laboratory and license or certification fee from bis in a financial year then bank loan processing charges reimbursement may of 80% or up to 1 lakh rupee whichever is less on bank loan processing charges which are normally 1 to 3% charged by the bank bank charges for performance bank guarantee if you want to participate in any government tender then you need to submit performance bank guarantee so bank guarantee charges are levied by the bank so in this case 80% or up to rupees 1 lakh rupee whichever is less is like you know paid by uh, a, a national scst hub to scst entrepreneur membership fee of b2b portal as i already like you know told you that we have a portal called msme mart where registration for ms uh, for scst entrepreneurs is like you know giving discount up to 80% for registration training fee of top 50 management institutes reimbursement of 90% or up to 1 lakh rupee attending up to two training courses from top 50 management institutes identified by ministry of human resource development so these are some of the schemes which like you know nsic is running in state of madhya pradesh thank you